and then I had Duster, which you had a video, yes. which you shot, yes, <laughs> even completely. In fact, there are two videos I want us to talk about that people don't know. You shot a full video for Duster, and I'm on fire. And then you shot the craziest <laughs> video ever <laughs> I've ever seen. Till today, <laughs> by the way, I'm very serious. Till today, I've not seen uh -huh. something like that. I'm on fire. You know, I saw that trailer. <laughs> it's like the Matrix. <laughs> you're lifting motifs. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> I'm like, you know, all the motifs are just in the air. I'm like, what's going on? Yes. Never to be released. I'm like, this daddy, we're just that we are going to talk about it because I was there. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now, like, at that moment is when now things started being. I was like, where should I go? I'm, I'm appealing to a more mature crowd. Oh, but the songs that are recorded, they are sounding to understand. And, and then at that time, I had like a clean shave, nimetoa mohawk, nimanza kuva suti. You know those days, tikuwa nava suti, so nimanza kuva suti. And then the appeal, the appeal I was getting from the corporate world was sweet. <laughs> you understand? The appeal was making me now starting doing. Okay, I started doing investments. They were making sense to me but when i look back i'm like the kind of shows i'm i'm performing right now is for more mature crowd and this mature crowd they they are demanding for saluti dakikatatu kerero they're not demanding these upbeat songs yeah you get one them no they don't understand you understand so I was so confused. I blame it on the money. That's it. <laughs> not even the money. <laughs> not even the money. And that because like, even for me, at that moment I was like, yeah. I want to feel like I'm leading more people to Christ than just... I want to feel my content is more of leading people to Christ than just dancing. Uh, and that's what was now gospel in that beginning getting tainted. Yes. And then at that moment is when our gospel things were like, Guys, that's only like, katika too. Hey, what what or mission of we understand when you know you are here, you know. So I was like, if 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 I'm at this level of my career, why can't I be that person who can direct you to a different level? Uh -huh. So at that time, the Kikarat was doing well, but it was, it was not doing well as Saluti. You get it? Eh? Yeah. In fact, I felt like the Kikatatu was your first fall. Deep. Deep, yes. Yes. After that whole... Yes. This man. Yes. And I did the Kikatatu knowing that that will happen. Knowing that it will be a deep. Yes, I knew. 
I knew. Then why did you still do it? Is it, is it because it was going to still appeal to these other guys? For me, it was more of, I want to change how I'm doing music. Mm -hmm. I don't just to look like I don't have content. Um, I don't want to look like I'm just those artists. Because the problem was, the way I was doing my stuff, people started copying what I'm doing. But the problem yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. for me, I was Dr. so Eddie deep. even moved to Nairobi. Yeah? For me, <laughs> I was so deep in the word. Uh -huh. So I knew how to balance hype and word. But these young cats, the problem was, they didn't know how, how to balance. Exactly. Actually, so you say that again because that is such a good point. It's yes. very true. You see, for me, I have the grace that I can enter into a club and don't do anything. <laughs> but someone else can enter and they portray in the club. Mm -hmm. So for me, when I was doing that kind of music, I knew I had the grace because I was so prayerful and I knew the word Kabisa. Mm -hmm. So I knew even if I, I touch this, nothing can happen to me. So by the time I was doing the upbeat songs, it was more of you must create the hype for people to come and enjoy the word. You understand? And enjoy the word. But now, the guys who came after who started copying what I was doing, they just copied the beats. They copied the beats mm -hmm. and the hype. Mm -hmm. But no one was deep in the word. Mm -hmm. So I felt like so many wanapotea copying me, yet, yet I can do something about it. I get. You get my point? I get. Yet I can do something about it. And that's why. You change styles. I changed style and I was looking for a cause to attach to my ministry. Now, let me, t let me, let me tell you a bit about this era. Yes. From how, and then now we lead in, into the song yes. that comes after Daki Katato. Yes. And this is why. So, me, I've started this clean the airwaves thing, and I realize because I'm pals with Pinye mm -hmm. and get, I'm getting gospel songs and I'm giving Pinye and Pinye is playing, mm -hmm. not because I'm giving him, it's playing because he likes the song. Mm -hmm. But some of these songs he was not hearing, mm -hmm. and because he was not hearing, he was not playing. Mm -hmm. So in an essence, me giving him some of this music mm -hmm. was what was getting played in the beats. Mm -hmm. I started saying this can't happen, mm -hmm. because now mm -hmm. gospel music was being played mm -hmm. very heavily on the beat mm -hmm. and were becoming rich, mm -hmm. but everybody was using that money for themselves. Yes. And that using that money for themselves was beginning to destroy them. Yes. So I remember saying very clearly mm -hmm. to Pinier, mm -hmm. never play anything. Mm -hmm that I ever give you, mm -hmm. unless there's a cause behind it. Mm -hmm. You get, mm -hmm. never play another gospel mm -hmm. song unless there's a cause. Mm -hmm. I remember that's why Ecodida changed. Even Make It or Make It mm -hmm. started mm -hmm. off that. Because I've seen Nonini mm -hmm. is doing Kalako face, mm -hmm. and yet he's not in this mm -hmm. world of gospel. Mm -hmm. And I remember sitting down with you mm -hmm. and Dasta mm -hmm. and Pinye. Mm -hmm. now, and then now you're showing him a full video, mm -hmm. but then you said, mm -hmm. This is not the one coming out. Mm -hmm. So, and I left on that now. So, we had Java. Yes. After that is when I was like, how am I giving back? How am I impacting society? Yes, I'm popular, but what influence am I leaving these young guys with? I'm, how am I talking to? Now, they, all these guys are following me, but what when they go home, what will they remember about that event? Just performance, just dancing, just singing. So I was like, what is my number one rod that is in my hand? Uh -huh. My music. So how will I convert this music to become something that, apart from just music, we are doing more, more than just music? Bringing about change. Yes. That's when I met Deno. <laughs> He would tell us a story of Mbona. And they know, it was so weird because at that moment, I was thinking to do something with any other artist who I can create a cause behind. Mm -hmm. So, I met Deno Nilikuwa Nimetoka Kufanya interview at Citizen. Yeah. Uh, I think Ilikuwa Kama Siku Bamba, Ilikuwa Rauka. Uh -huh, uh -huh. When so I met him. When Kubambo was there. Yeah, I met him. Nino, Nino, to come here to discuss. The guy was like, "Hey, I want us to do a song." I can assure you, the song took one year before we recorded. One year. Yeah, he used to call me. He used to call me, but because for me, I, I, I'm not always in a rush. 
Mwambie tu muziki si mboga ita haribika. But I was like I need to know exactly because by that time I was really praying. I was really praying, praying, praying because I wanted God to show me where to guide my footsteps. Where do you want me to go? Which direction are you giving? Mm-hmm. So that's when we went to Dili. I told Dili I want a truck and this is the chorus. I came up with the chorus. Nikamwambia, nikamwambia Dili akatenge the truck. Dili is on with that truck. Yeah. Dili can make truck. Then nikaenda nikapatia Deno nikamwambia this is chorus. Now write a verse from this. What? Now Deno wrote his verse. And then now from there we went to RK. Mm-hmm. Because RK is very good with If you want to do anything that has a choir or mm-hmm. you know RK is very good with vocals. Yes, yeah, yeah. So I went to RK and there is where we recorded Bona. So after recording Bona again Bona now wow. <laughs> The song did, exploded. Did you, did you release audio first? No. Did you release audio? No. You went and shot video. Now this is yes. Now after you did Bona, this is when I remember sitting with you. Yeah. And Pinye yes. at Junction. Yes. Yes. And, and and I'm very confused. I was so sure what I have is going to to, to change how music is done in this country. I was so sure. I knew I had something special. Yes. When I when we just finished recording Bona like this, you know for me, I always go at home listen to my song for like one week straight then i'll never listen to it again mm-hmm. the moment i release a song like this i never sit down to listen to it again so in that moment when i was just listening to it i was like wow wow wow, wow. i think we have something special here this song is special so i talked to pinje <laughs> and pinje was like I don't know if I played Pinye the audio or the video. The audio. The audio. I played Pinye the That's audio. how he ended. No, because I P- gave Pinye. P- Pinye is in the video. No, I gave Pinye the album. Uh-huh. The album. Exactly. Now you yes. had the song. Mm-hmm. It had the so song. So out of the album is where we had Dasta, Nini, Nini. Exactly. Nene. But Pinye was like, no, no, no. P- you came to give Pinye. Dasta. Yes. A video yes. finished yes. complete. Yes. And he's like, no, no. I'm not playing Play this. this. Go and shoot this. This song. Because Pinier's yeah. brother. Yeah, I know. I know. Was also <laughs> yeah. going through the same so thing. So Pinier's brother was going through the same thing. Mm-hmm. And Pinier was like, I've never had a powerful song like this one. He said, I've, I remember when he said, I've never been in a video, but this video, I'll I be must in. be in. Yes. And to, to shock Pinier, he didn't know. By the time I played in the song, he didn't know Deno was visually impaired. Mm-hmm. He didn't know. He just thought I'm singing a song about people who are living in disability. So when he saw Deno, he was like, oh my goodness. This is insane. So, after that is when now... He was Ogopa, video, Westgate. I can't remember the launch was before or after. I remember the the launch of the video. Do you know why I remember it? No, not the launch of the album. Or the okay. Or the album. I was it before the video or after the video? I don't know. No, it was before. Remember I, I stepped with the on stage, everyone was shocked. Mm-hmm. At KCC. At KCC. <laughs> you remember? That launch was big. Mona, 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 Mona. Ah, Sadik Twende. Mikono tio hawa kira mtu. Mikono tio hawa. Glory be to Jesus. We thank God. We worship you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. We give you all the glory. Just wept to Jesus. Give him all the glory. We give you all the glory. We worship you, Jesus. kama saba mwezi wa saba na kazi imepita 17 kumu duniani nishajipata mimi mimi niko nilivyo sina baba wala mimi sina mama si 
Siwezi ena mbali mi na jificha Na choka kujificha na jitokeza Mimi, mimi, niko nilivyo Nuna vila govyangu na enda mbali Sijui nifanye nini ni ende wapi Nifate na ni mimi ni mwite nani Mimi, mimi, niko nilivyo Sijo ni mwana nyinyi mwani kimbia Sijo ni mwana nyinyi mwani darau Sijo ni mwana nyinyi mwani yepuka Mimi, mimi, niko nilivyo Mwana, mwana, mwana Mwana, mwana, mwana Mwana, mwana, mwana Mwana, mwana Mona, ah, ah, Mona, 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 Sasa hamni dhamini Mwani ona kama sifai Siku chagua Niwe jinsi nilivyoni Kitemea barabarani Machome ni kazi ya Mio mbio mwani That was a That was a big launch Cause that one again It was live on the beach Yes! It was live on TV across the country and caused drama between Coca-Cola and Safari. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Man, it was so big. And again, I had the same feeling. The yeah. same feeling I had during Kenya Polytechnic is the same feeling I had for this launch. I walked in, coming into KICC. The queue was Parker City Hall. A long queue. I remember it figured around four. The the guys from KIC came, the ma management, mm -hmm. and told me kindly, we have to funga this gate. <laughs> this place is packed to the brim. Yani, we can't accommodate anymore. We can't. Uh, and you see, for me at that time, I was like, I'm not sure about my career. You're again mad. you're mad you're but mad. again the launch showed me my friend god just showed me it's not about you i never forget coca-cola stayed safaricom banners it all level <laughs> because it's played on the beat Bridge. and the only yes. advertiser for the beat is leave alone that my phone on that day uh, it was i i can't remember the last time my phone had so many calls coming in at the same time because you know I was live mm -hmm. on TV and that day was a holiday. Yep. So everyone was at home watching. It was a big one. It was, big. It was a big one. And even a lot of gospel secular artists. I like all of them were there. Yeah. Well, I remember even MPs like in our IT too, like yes. in a everyone was there. <laughs> everyone came. And that was crazy because that came now after the kicker. Yes. So we are like, okay. No, no, no. So, so now tell us about Mbona. So, Mbona, I was like, this is a big song. I've just launched my album or something. I want to, I want to release it in a bigger way. What can I do? No, you performed that night. You performed. No, tell, tell us about the performance of Mbona. Oh, performance. With Deno, with Deno. Oh, at the launch. Mm. Wow. I remember coming on stage with Deno. People didn't know the song. So I told the guy, I, I, I told everyone I'm introducing you today, no? He's a new artist, no, 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 no. Exactly, you're yes. right. People yes. didn't know the song. Yes, yes people didn't yes. know the song. But I want you to guys just to listen to his voice and tell me what you think. We've done a song with him. That's when he sang the song. I remember at that time, the guys who were on the table told me, selling the CDs, they were like, you've not sold so many copies. But after the performance, <laughs> everyone bought the CD. Everyone bought the copy. So we performed Bona. Because I remember the biggest song at that time was Salute. Yes. Yeah. Because I remember the ladies coming on stage, we were performing together with them. Everyone. Now, yeah. Come on. Yeah. See, yeah. And you had kids to old people. Yes. Nobody's to MPs. Yes. At that time. Insane. Yes. Insane. So after the launch, 
another major thing that happened now was the release of Mbona. After I did the video, now we're planning how can we release this song. Do you know what I did? I called all media stations and I told them, I have a song I want to release, but we can only release it at 12.15. Yes. So they asked me, what, why 12.15? I was like, I don't know, I just, I just want it to be at 12.15. But I want all the stations to play it at the same time. They're like, okay, let's try it. Imagine it was played at the same time. Because for me to confirm that it was played at the same time, we were with Njugush. We were going for a, an event, I think, in Moranga. You know where you are? You are at Mavuno Church on stage. No! Yes. I know because I was there. About no, 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 no. I uploaded Mbona. Mm -hmm. No, no, in the morning. In the morning. You did the morning, the morning service. Yes. 10 a.m.? Yes. Then I left. Yes, then you took more Yes, I left because I remember we were going with Jugush. You didn't even do the second service. No, no I did the first yes, session. Yes. So we were going to, with Jugush to, to, to Nanyuki or something. And then we figured na, eh, Thika Town. So we went to Tuskies to buy something at the, at the, at, at the supermarket. Mm. Fika in there, to a place on TV. Fika in Ah, I'm 2015 by the way. Manze, all the TVs were different channels. Nazora Zili was Nacheza. That song. Yeah. I remember the, the, the at that time, Twitter was like, Manza Kushika Shika Kenya. Yeah. Social media went crazy. And it's the first time a video did 500,000 views in one day. Social media went crazy. Yeah. And 500,000 views then was a lot. It was crazy. Me even when Facebook came to Kenya, I was the guy with most followers. Mm. In Kenya, I love what I was happened. And then I was hacked. <laughs> <laughs> so after being hacked, nigga took a Facebook for like two years. Wrong move, but that but was the, yeah. the, the, the the worst move. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but so, you're back. You're on it at least. At least you're in a corner. So, so for like other other two years, you nigga took a Facebook for like I don't know how many. For months. life until I disturbed him. Until Esther <laughs> came and I was like, oh hey, man. Hey. <laughs> But I was like, I don't want it. I don't want it completely. Wakati ambapo nili jifungua Angel, haikuwa rahisi kukubali ili hali ambayo alikuwa nayo. Walikuwa nafikia alapre tumekosea kitu. Mimi ya mga baba yake. Alikuwa noma. Alikuwa kazi sana. I used to ask my mom, why is he telling me that I'm um, like this? When you go to the homes, when you go to the church, when you go to visit your neighbors, you don't see them. Where are they? Like my dad was sent to be killed. Really. Tareka masaba mwezi wa saba Kazi mepita kumina saba Kumu dunia ni nisha jipata Mimi, mimi, niko nilivyo Sina baba wala mi sina mama Siwezi ena mbali mi na jificha Na choka kujificha na jitokeza Mimi, mimi, niko nilivyo Funga virago vyangu na enda mbali Sijui nifanye nini niende wapi Nifate na ni mimi ni mwite nani Mimi, mimi, niko nilivyo Sioni mwana nyinyi mwani kimbia Sioni mwana nyinyi mwani dharahu Sioni mwana nyinyi mwani yepuka Mimi, mimi, niko nilivyo Mwona, mwona, mwona Mwona, mwona, mwona Alipanga mpango wake Kwa mba mimi Niwe jinsi nilivyo mbona Sasa hamni dhamini Mwaniona kama sifai Siku chagua 
ni we jinsi ni livyo ni kitembea barabara ni machome ni kazi ya bio bio mwani ondokea mimi ni kama nyingi mbona 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 So, Mbona created another movement that was so big in this country. And bigger than you. It was bigger than me. Because it created a cause that, till today, I don't think there's something people remember me with, I'm my career, more than how about I'm, I'm helping persons living with disabilities. Yes, inability is not disability. Yes. That's how it started now. Disability the Mbona campaign. Inability. I started the Mbona campaign and then eventually I started my Laika Tribute Awards. So, Mbona, the second thing that that thing went to do, and why I agree with you for giving Giuliani that award, he even won the Kisima Award. Yes. And he won a million shillings. Yes. But what happened after giving, it will come back to you, pressed down, shaking together and running over. Mm -hmm. What happened? You won the Kisima Award, yes. and you were given two million shares. Yes, 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 yes. And what did you do with that? After winning the Kisima, I was given... No, tell us about, tell us about the Kisima Award. So Kisima Awards came now after... I remember that year, they wanted to, to nominate me for Groove. Wakakata. Nika sema no, nominate other guys. But Kisima I accepted. Because I never won Kisima. Mm. Kisima was trying to come back. It was only the previous year that it had, it had just come back the previous year. So this was the second year after the comeback. But I remember even Groove, it was an argument and it was a huge fight. Yes, I remember. Who, who, should, who are you to tell us not to nominate? I remember. We are, going to, we are, we are not the ones to tell us who to nominate. I remember. <laughs> I remember. It was a big fight. But guys were like, why do you want us to vote for you for Kisima? You don't want to vote for you for Groove. Guys didn't understand. But eventually, imagine they voted for me for Kisima. And I won Kisima Artist of the Year. An artist of, in fact, I won like two or three. Mm. I think I won Song of the Year, Video of the Year, and then Artist of the Year. Because mm -hmm. I, I, just to think, I, I remember, I, I, I can see those trophies at home. <laughs> They're there. <laughs> so, most of how many trophies at home? Hey, man, it's a mob. <laughs> we need to do a feature. <laughs> so, after that, the, the, the prize money for Artist of the Year was two million. Mm. So, after winning as Daddy Owen, Artist of the Year, 2012. I gave out the award to, I gave out one million today, no. Just to facilitate, because I remember we had that discussion. We were like, guys were like, you can't just give him the full amount and now not help him to understand what his next move. Mm. He must hold his hand, mentor him, work with him and know what he wants. Mm. So eventually we had a meeting with the no, the family, and we discussed and we knew what exactly what he wanted, what he wanted to do. And, and he wanted an album at that time. Yeah, yeah, eventually the man went to him, we did for him a launch, we did a full album, we did like three videos, other things mm. for him. I interviewed you and Deno on another different show. Yes. Get lifted after after you guys yes. were in this period yes, of yes, winning. Yes. yes, yes, yes. So I remember I remember that and then now seeing you transition out of Deno. Yes, yes. And I keep saying, I remember even telling Deno, I told Deno, you're so lucky to have had this opportunity. Yes. Mentorship is not free. You get? And you and it's not easy. It's not, it's not easy even for the person who's been the yes, mentor. Yes, yes. You get? Yes. So for you, take this thing very seriously mm -hmm. that you had the opportunity of being mentored and mm -hmm. the mentor is now giving even a financial yes, element mm -hmm. to go and do your album, yes, yes, yes. but make sure you do the same now for your community, yes, yes, yes. for somebody else. Yes. So it was not easy. And eventually, that's when now I started, after now working with Deno, that's when now I started my Leica Tribute Awards. Mm. And my Leica Tribute Awards, it's an award whereby we award persons living with disability who've done great things despite their challenges. Mm -hmm. So the same year is when I started my Leica Tribute in December. Yes. 
because World Disability Day is December December 3rd. And you've been doing it ever since? So I've been doing Malaika since 2012 till, till today. Nice. Yes. Hey. Hey. Very few Malaika. people can say they've been doing yeah. that. And I remember, even when I started, my budget for my first award ceremony was like three, like two million or something. Mm. And I remember I didn't have a lot, but I was like, who can I look for to support me? I think at that moment, when I was starting Malaika, I was still at Airtel mm -hmm. as their brand ambassador. Safaricom were willing to give me money, but they couldn't touch me because I'm the brand ambassador for Airtel. So I went and explained that the whole story to Sylvia Mulinge. And Sylvia told me, come, I'll give you money from my own pocket. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. She gave me like, I think 800,000. For you to just go and do it for yourself? For, to do my like a tribute award. She didn't even attend. <laughs> but she knew the cause was a worthy cause. And uh, she believed in the vision. And she's been supporting me since then. She uh, She's very passionate about personal living disability. Ama, she's very passionate about helping people in the society. Those are things that people don't know, people don't, will never hear. Ama, when they see, they see people out there, they don't know how they help mm. other people. But and she gave is, me the money. And this is and from she, her own personal. From her own, we, I remember very well, we went to the bank. It was her own personal account. She just wanted to help persons living with disability. And she didn't even come Actually, now she's there for you to say, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. She didn't even want people to know. That is crazy. Yeah. Because she knew it was a, a good idea, but I'm tied because wrong, of the wrong contract. timing. Yeah. Wrong, wrong, no, not wrong timing for the idea, yeah. but. But eventually, after time. that, after when my contract was up with Airtel, now I signed for Airtel, for Safaricom. Yes, because. And after, from since I started working in Safaricom, that is 2013. They've been supporting me to date. Even these years, I had the ones who supported me. That is amazing. Huh? And how have you seen, how has that event transformed people living with disabilities? How have uh, you seen, how have you the, seen that it's done? The best thing about Malaika, what I love so much about Malaika, you know that the oil the brand is more about the hype. Mm. But for me, Malaika is something that I know your same hype. But the impact is so deep. As mm. in, every year we award 10 people. And these 10 people, every year we give them 100,000. So every year we give out 1 million mm. to transform someone's life, to change someone's life. Who's already, who's already transforming somebody? Who's already doing something? Yeah, who's already doing something? Like and give, me, others, give, a, give an example of somebody you've given. The, yeah. others, who, who, the others who maybe they, they've not done anything, but they are just good in sports in school. Mm -hmm. So we give them money, and there are others, apart from that, I remember there's another kid called Daisy. Apart from just give, giving her 100,000, Sylvia paid her school fees for like three or four years when she was still in private school. Paka when she malizad. That's crazy. You get my point? Yeah. So, such, such, for me, such things, I believe, will write my legacy. Amma will be the highlight of my legacy more than just even how I became big in the music industry. Mm -hmm. Amma the hit song that I, I had. Because I always say, if I can change 15 people, I can change a society. Mm -hmm. I can change a generation. And that has been my dream all these years. So when every year I, 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 I help 10 people and mm -hmm. transform their lives, this day, there is a mama from Nakuru. She wanted to be a farmer. I gave her 100,000 after winning Malaika. From there, she bought Mangombe. Right now, she's a very big farmer in Nakuru. Because of the seed. Because of the seed that we planted. And she won it in 2013. She never forgets me. She's like, anytime you're in Nakuru, just come for milk. <laughs> come for anything you want. 
Ah, she's in a wheelchair. And that's lifelong. She's in a wheelchair. So even this year now, the the major plan for this year, 2019. 2019. Now two years ago we started Malika Disability Walk. Yes. So the major thing that we want to do for 2019 for, for Malika Disability Walk is we I want to partner with a hospital called Kiwa Kenya. This hospital they do reconstructive surgery for people who are born with disability. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many people who are born with certain different type of disabilities but when you do a surgery to, to, to that kid they can become well. Mm -hmm. But just mm -hmm. because they come from marginalized areas or they come from a very poor background yes. they can't afford it, it. Yes. You understand? I get and it. They I get end it. up growing with their what we call deformity until they become mature. Yeah. And now when you think a certain age it cannot be reconstructed. So the dream I'm at the plan for this year is during the Malika Disability Walk, we want to do a fundraiser that will make sure we get kids from different parts of this country. We want to get only 15 kids from different parts of this, ki this country and we fund the operations. Because you know one operation can cost like 300,000 for Exactly, them. exactly. These kids, I always say, as long as I've changed that one kid. I get it who was born with a certain kind of deformity. This kid can end up becoming a footballer. This kid can end up becoming a teacher. This kid can end up becoming a pilot. This kid can end up becoming a president. Anything. 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 Uh, the other day I was seeing, I actually, the other day, yesterday, I was seeing somebody without hands mm. flying a helicopter. That's what I'm telling you. These kids can transform and be something major in future so that's my dream i want to make sure by the end of this year i've helped 15 kids to have reconstructive surgery to make sure that they have a bright future in front of them and these kids are coming from different parts of the country yeah yeah mostly marginalized areas they doing on the playoffs this today i want us to do something we've never done before yes. i don't want us to rush Yes. I don't want us to rush no, through to rush. your next. Uh, you know, there's so much you've done. We've got. We haven't talked about vanity. Bado. We haven't talked about Bado. Giuliani <laughs> DNA Kanji. Bado. We haven't talked about Kaziam Salabala. Bado. Then the Gift Foundation. Bado. But I want to do this. I want to end this as season one. You get? Mm -hmm. I must end this as season one. Mm -hmm. Guys can put whatever comments they want. Mm -hmm. They can because this is already like five hours worth <laughs> of content. <laughs> 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 and there's a lot. And there's still so much. There's so much. There's still so much. I was like, we we ni The one who see me. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't figured the one being roots. Yeah. You get. So and what I'm working on right now. What right? you exactly. What I'm working on right now is this right on another level. What do you mean? I say interviewed Musioka. Uh, <laughs> Musioka <laughs> sampled me one or two things. And I was like, wow. You Musioka, you. Uh, uh, so I'm like, I know there's a lot. <laughs> but uh -huh. for me, it's important that it's not rushed over. Okay. And especially, so there's people with a lot of history. Mm -hmm. And because they have a lot of history, mm -hmm. We tend to just do the beginning bit and then brrr, quickly over okay. over from 2004 and okay. things like that. Okay. But with you, no, mm -hmm. I'm like Malaika. Mm -hmm. The birth of Malaika is where season one mm -hmm. of this playoffs featuring mm -hmm. Dadio and will end. Mm -hmm. But the good thing now is guys can actually also write questions. Okay, you get what I mean. Okay, write questions. Okay. Okay. When we pick up the next time, okay. we'll pick it up. I'm easy, man. You're easy. I'm easy. Za, za. Easy, ready, <laughs> anytime. I always say the information that I have. If I can pass it on to someone else and him say it here, mm. I believe that's the most important thing. Hey, now we pass on. So thank you so much for passing on. You're welcome. Sharing openly. Welcome. Hope your dish at least me kushikilia. Because I'm going to dinner. Because if you come on, on a mtoi kuchukua kutoka chuo, if you do it from mm. 11 o'clock to 4.42. No joke. No joke. But we'll be back. No problem. So, sir, it's a wrap for now.